All right now let's check in with Rich for another warm day ahead for us. Yeah, not as warm as yesterday though. It was actually, I, I actually heard a couple complaints. <laughs> Too about hot. From too hot yesterday. We yep. were close yep. to 80, which is, you yeah, know, that's pretty, usually I mean, what people we, complain. Just a little before 2, I mean, we were sitting around, there were a bunch of a, a bunch of us weather folks sitting in the weather center, and we just, it hit 79, we're going, all right, this is it. It's going to hit 80, and then it, just, then it dropped to 76, and it just floated back, but it stuck right near 79 through about 4 o'clock. Never made it to 80 here, but it did down at JBLM. They hit 80 officially, but 79 degrees, not too bad. Uh, just a mere 25 degrees above normal for the day. That's pretty remarkable. It is the warmest winter day ever recorded, breaking the record set on Monday. So today, spring arrives. So we're going to give up on breaking any more of those records, fortunately. And you can see the uh, record used to be 63 degrees, but boy, we just really shattered that yesterday. Checking uh, some of the other records that fell yesterday, 78 in Olympia, 74 in Bellingham. Hokium hit 79 in the hot spot in western Washington out there on the coast. Forks hit 81 degrees yesterday. We are going to cool today, but it's still going to be a warm day. Out at SeaTac this morning, clear skies. That full moon's out there this morning. Beautiful morning, in fact. Busy morning there on the departure deck. Check out this shot. This is really pretty. If I get out of the way and move over here, you can see the moonlight on Glacier Peak there looking out from uh, Lake Stevens uh, Tower Cam and just see the snow out there in the Cascades. Really, really pretty. I'll show you some shots from up at top of Crystal, which it looks like noontime up there with all this moonlight. Temperatures this morning, again, are a huge range all the way from the 30s down in the wind protected areas like uh, Tonino all the way to 64 degrees where they're still seeing those gusty downslope winds around Enumclaw. Checking the University of Washington model, you can see we're still seeing those down slope winds this morning. As we go through today, they'll continue but begin to weaken as we head towards later on and then pretty much go away as we head into Thursday. We'll see a little push of marine air. It's going to cool down on the coast significantly tomorrow and then we're going to see some more cooling in uh, Puget Sound itself and then as we head into Friday, we're going to start to see a front begin to approach us. The clouds will come rolling in. It looks like as we head towards late in the afternoon, we're going to see a little weak cold front pushing here for increasing rain spreading up from the south late Friday afternoon, Friday evening, leaving behind a few showers as we head into Saturday and much cooler temperatures. There are those record high temperatures again, but we'll move on beyond those. I don't want to dwell on those after all. Our forecast for today, sunny and warm temperatures into the mid 70s. We'll have a few clouds around tomorrow. Not bad though. Temperatures into the mid 60s. As we roll into Friday, increasing rain later in the day. Showers and sun breaks and cool Saturday mid 50s, which is where our normal high should be. Sunday, partly sunny. Showers move in late on Monday. Just a couple showers Tuesday and high temperatures closer to normal in the mid to upper 50s. Once we get past today, no more signs of 70s in our immediate future.